It's been a great morning here at the first day of the BFEX conference on the Gold Coast. A very informative first session. We're hearing from uh, MLA Managing Director Scott Hansen and uh, MLA's uh, Jason Strong, who looks after the European region. Uh, and I caught up with them for their thoughts on the way ahead for BFEX. Uh, we're really addressing three key topics. So the first one around um, this great opportunity that exists for Australian grain-fed beef with increasing populations and increasing prosperity in a lot of emerging markets. But the challenge that market access provides in terms of ensuring we've got access to this new customer base, but also we have a reduction in the tariffs and impediments to our growth in those markets. So it's the first key message. The second one is about the opportunity for increased productivity across the Australian cattle industry and some of the smart work that's been done at the moment with both genetics and genomics to look at, for example, uh, breeding values around net feed intake efficiency, uh, to look at how we ensure we remain as efficient of producers as red meat as possible. And then finally is how we make sure that the community uh, continues to hear the sustainability stories from our livestock production and our feedlot sectors so that consumers can continue to remain uh, comfortable and relaxed about the production systems that are producing uh, the steaks and the product that they purchase. So the EU market's been a long-standing um, outlet for Australian beef and in recent times we've had additional access to that market through the creation of a grain-fed beef quota which is a tariff-free quota which Australia's been accessing which has allowed us to make some really useful incremental gains which have maintained the value of that market to us and allowed us to send in new, new products into new sectors of that market. So historically we've sent grass-fed beef to the EU, but in the last two years we've increased our total tonnage there by 63%, but we've maintained the value of that market at around $10,000 a tonne. So it's going to remain a very important market to us, and it's going to become a more important market for us as far as grain-fed beef is concerned, um, particularly if we can continue to get some incremental gains keep those gains on an annual basis on the back of what we've got in the last couple of years.